You want me to put that on my todger? Save the babies. In the United Kingdom, the top 10 of most popular boys' names is as follows in 2023. Muhammad, Noah, Theo, Leo, Oliver, Arthur, Jack, Freddy, George, and Luca. There aren't particularly many changes. The top five are unchanged. Arthur catapults up five places. Notably further down the list, Jude moves up 28 places to 14. But what about the girls' names in the United Kingdom? What are the top ten there? Lily, Sophia, they change places. Olivia, Amelia, Freya, Aria, Ava, Isabella, Isla, and... Mila. Many of them ending with A, noticeably so. Funny, Karen isn't in there. I wonder why. But what about the United States? What about the top ten baby names there? Well, for boys, it was Liam, Noah, Olivia, I beg your pardon, Oliver, James, Elijah, William, Henry, Lucas, Benjamin, and Theodore. And amongst the girls... Olivia, Emma, Charlotte, Amelia, Sophia, Isabella, Ava, Mia, Evelyn, and Luna. Now, why am I telling you about the most popular boys and girls' names in the United Kingdom and the United States? Well, the reason being is that according to the Mirror, Harry and Harry's wife's baby names plunge in popularity amid royal family drama. Yes, if you want any indicator of how unpopular you are, notice that people aren't interested in using your name to name their offspring. Harry and Harry's wife baby names have reportedly plunged in popularity amid royal drama following Prince Harry and Harry's wife's move to the United States. According to Baby Centre, the names have dropped from 13th place to 23rd, having previously seen a huge boost in popularity among new parents. However, after months of Harry and Harry's wife being accused of stirring up trouble within the royal family, it appears the names may now have negative connotations. Just some of the latest revelations have included Harry's wife and Harry claiming a member of the royal family made racist remarks about her unborn son, as well as Harry's tell-all memoir, in which he wrote about losing his virginity behind a pub, taking drugs and killing people during his time in the armed forces. The couple also aired their explosive and somewhat controversial Netflix series, documenting their exit from the family, with Harry's wife at one point claiming she was met with a cold reception during her first encounter with Kate Middleton. Following the baby name findings, Baby Center wrote, Crashing down from 13th place to number 23, the previously popular name Harry seems to have had a negative reception from parents this year. Well, you don't say. Harry's wife and alternate spelling Harry's wife have also dropped in registrations, writes the New York Post. The Mirror then continues by describing other annoying and irritating things that they've done in relation to annoying their neighbours in Monty Shit Show. But it's not much of an endorsement, is it, for the gruesome twosome that not only are you repeatedly referenced as being not particularly likeable by many people, even the parents of little cuddly newborn babies think there's no way I want to be shouting Harry, Harry, come and eat your porridge. Because I will then be thinking of the Fanta pube twat that is the Prince Harry. Mm, I don't really want to cause my child to have to have the burden of sharing the same name as that arse wank. And even worse, nobody wants to be going around calling their child Harry's wife. Hitherto... Such a name was a lovely name, a Welsh name. I know a number of Harry's wives, but 
Unfortunately, that name has become tarnished with the connection that's made to Harry's wife. And thus, people decide, oh, no, I've got a lovely little girl here. She's the light of my life, my flower in bloom. But the last thing I want to do is name her Harry's wife. Gosh, what a curse that would be. And I'd end up thinking about that horrible grifter every time I would look upon the fruit of my loins. No, I'll go for a different name instead. Now, of course, the plunging in popularity of the names is ultimately minutiae. But it's more grist to the mill of demonstrating how the gruesome twosome just really are not well regarded by people, how far their stock has fallen. Harry's wife, of course, would just dismiss this information. She would not accept it. She would think, well, if there's been any plunging popularity, it's been generated by the press because they're the ones that have smeared my name so often, it's no wonder that people have taken against me. She won't, of course, accept that it's anything to do with her, but... It's just further evidence, and this time in relation to the naming of babies as to why people don't like her and Harry. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.